hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another brand new video on this channel in this video today we're going to be making some tasty caribbean styled papaya punch guys some lovely tasting papaya punch so to start off the ingredients that we're going to be needing for this recipe today are three tablespoons of condensed milk this is to sweeten it up if you don't have condensed milk you can go ahead and use some regular old sugar guys we're going to use in a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Over here I have one cup of almond milk, guys. One cup of almond milk, one can of coconut milk, and four cups of lovely papaya, guys. These are all the ingredients that we're going to be needing for this recipe today, for this papaya punch. And just what we're going to do, we're just going to add all of these good goodies to our blender. And we're going to blend it all up, guys. So let's switch over to my blender where we're going to start adding these ingredients to the blender to blend it and make this punch. All right, guys. So here we are at my blender. I'm going to go on in and start by adding my papaya. This is four cups of papaya, guys. All right. So now I'm going to go on in with my coconut milk this is one entire can of coconut milk I'm gonna go ahead and add my cinnamon powder one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg I have three tablespoons of condensed milk And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add one cup of almond milk, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this all up, guys. Just go ahead and blend everything together. All right, guys. So here we are. I went ahead and removed my liquid from my blender here. And as you can see, it's very nice and thick in texture. You do want to make sure you taste this, this and make sure that it has enough sugar or you know sweetness to it depending on what you're using to sweeten it you may want to add a little bit more or a little bit less depending on your taste it's totally customizable to your taste of sweetness guys and keep in mind if you're going to be serving this over ice you don't want it to be a little sweeter in the beginning because it will be diluted by the ice or you can simply place it in the refrigerator to chill and then serve it in a nice big glass but that is it for this video today thank you guys for watching be sure to join me another time another day for another brand new recipe